Hi, my name is Kim Walker. I'm a cancer exercise trainer and exercise physiologist at the Huntsman Cancer Institute. Thanks for joining us in part three of our series for stretching the full body. We'll be focusing on the lower body. Starting with the hamstring, we'll start with a standing hamstring stretch. Turning to the side, I'll kick one leg forward, hands will come down onto the quad. I'll gently hinge back, hinge forward from the hips, dropping my weight back into my heels, drawing my toe up, stretching through the back of the leg, the hamstring, down into the calf as well. A nice flat back, tabletop position, the neck's coming out of the spine. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. We'll roll up out of this stretch. Excellent, switch to the other side. Kick the toe up, drop those hips back, hinging, hands are on the quads. Again, flat back, neck coming out of the spine, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, keeping the weight in the heels. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Standing all the way up, relaxing those shoulders. We'll stretch the quadriceps. We can use some stretching props for this to make it a little easier. Here's a chair is one option. We'll turn to the side. You may even want to use the wall and a chair if you'd like to have some support with your balance. You can place the foot up on the chair and gently bend the knee. As we do that, we'll feel a stretch through the front of the leg, the quadriceps muscles. like to deepen this stretch and you're able to balance here, you can grab your own leg. It doesn't matter if you're grabbing the tab of your shoe, a sock, the back of your pants. And again, you can support by holding onto the wall or a chair. Deepen that stretch if you can. And as you exhale, go ahead and release that stretch and we'll switch to the other leg. You can start again by using the chair if you'd like, bending the knee, or try supporting on your own. It helps sometimes to counterbalance with that opposite arm up. Good, exhale, release the leg. Nice. From there, we're going to stretching the calves. We'll teach you what's called a running lunge. Putting one foot in front of the other, you'll push that back heel down. Hands can rest here, just above the knees, keeping your neck aligned with your spine. If you'd like, you can use a chair, like the back of a chair here. Kind of helps hold yourself up. Or I can come up right up to a wall with my foot and push back. Lengthening through the calf as I drive the heel down into the ground. Switching to the other side. So another variation I like to do is taking your foot, toe up, close to the wall, and just leaning in. The more I can bring my foot up, the higher, the deeper the stretch will be. So if it's feeling like too much, pull down just a little bit. Go ahead and switch legs. You're pretty close to the wall here. Leaning forward, we'll deepen the stretch through the back of the calf. Excellent. Go ahead and come out of that stretch. We'll stretch the tibialis anterior, which is a muscle that runs along the front of the shin by just putting one toe back and leaning forward, slightly bending the knee. Keeping your posture good up through the neck, coming out of the spine, chest is still lifted, breathing. Excellent, we'll switch sides. It's one of the muscles we use quite a bit when we're out walking, hiking, even cycling, snowshoeing. So it's really important to include this in your stretching routine. As you pull out of that, we're going to come down to our mat. I'll move the 
chair out of the way here. And I'm using a little stretching prop. You can use just a little towel. This is a, a, a stretching strap, a resistance strap that has a protective sleeve on it so it doesn't snap and hurt me. Um, coming down gently to the mat, grab the back of the thighs, roll yourself down. We can do the stretch two ways. I can keep both knees bent and just bring the leg up, extending the leg. You can use the strap here at the bottom of the foot and straighten out the leg as much as you can tolerate. Okay, everyone's going to be at a different level on the stretch. You can fully extend the leg and see if you're able to feel that through the hamstrings. Or keep a slight bend. That may change the stretch for you. It may change how it feels. Straightening the opposite leg will deepen the stretch and tilt the pelvis. Keeping the abs engaged, protecting the low back. As you walk up the strap or towel, it will deepen the stretch a little as you're pulling in. Good, we want tension but not pain. We don't want the leg really shaking a lot. A little, a little is okay. Go ahead and bend that leg. We'll switch. Opposite knee comes up. Again, you can keep a bent leg at first. Putting the strap the bottom of the foot, lengthen the leg up. Try it either with a slight bend or fully extended. Good, and you can stretch out that bottom leg if you'd like to deepen the stretch. Here, I want you to just work on your breathing. Notice as you exhale, how your body starts to sink down into the mat and feel weightless. As you exhale, relieving any stress or tension that you have. Good, with that final breath, we'll go ahead and release that stretch, bend the knee. You wanna come up slowly to avoid lightheadedness, so come slowly onto your side. Raise up as you get here, just sit for just a minute. You can even come forward with an inhale and an exhale. Excellent, we'll work up to a standing position. Take your time getting up. Good, same thing, a quick inhale. And exhale. Thank you so much for joining me in this series. It's been a pleasure. Stretching regularly is so important. I hope you take the time to do that and enjoy the rest of your day.